after the Black Stars' defeat to Algeria in their friendly game ahead of the African competition and speak with Sadiq Adams, sports Obama. He's a sports journalist who's joined us on Zoom for a conversation on the back of this. Sadiq, we're grateful for your time. You, you've seen our squad for the games and the first friendly, a humiliation loss, a humiliating loss to, to Algeria. Some will say the coach fielded a lightweight lineup, hence our result. What are your views on that? Yeah, thank you very much. I think it, this was expected, uh, playing against the defending champions, playing against a team who has not lost in 39 games, extending their superiority beyond the continent of Africa, even conquering Asia. So Algeria was a very good exercise, humiliation, but not too bad a scoreline, especially if you pick up the positives in the team. Mm. We had a lot of our players on the bench, including the captain, uh, there is an, uh, Jordan Ayu, our top scorer, or our top striker of the team, who was also on the bench. This is the first major game the team is playing together for so many, I mean, months. Uh, but Algeria have been very regular and active just uh, weeks after winning the uh, Arab Cup. So it was expected. I don't think it's supposed to be an alarm. It's really a reality check, though. But I believe there is small room for improvement, uh, especially with Milo having his full house now. Right. Going into the first game against mm. Morocco. With all what you've said and the the level, the quality of team that you, we have, realistically, are you optimistic Ghana is going to give a good showing at the competition? Yeah, of course. I like the fact that there is a little bit of expectation, very low expectation from Ghanaians, and there is no pressure on the team. A lot of the time that we cracked under pressure was because of the fact that people expected them to win but if you look at um, the general consensus from everywhere even within the team it looks like relatively inexperienced more than 60 percent of the team have never played in any major tournament before so there is no pressure on them to win people just expect them to do well at the tournament and that is what sometimes becomes the power and the secret weapon of the team. I believe that they have the talent, they have the willpower, the coach mm. has been very good in putting together as well in a very short time. Let's hope, but I believe that it won't be as bad as people I may mean, expect. <laughs> they, they will do well at the tournament, mm. definitely. Uh, let's look into Monday. We're, we're playing uh, Morocco on 10th January. What are our chances? Uh, well, it's a team that we really fair way against uh, as major tournaments. The North Africans have really not been uh, sized that are uh, booked to the Black Stars. We are able to play against them. We know the tactics and formation. Yesterday was an exception. It was a friendly game, and we have not played together for a long time. So I think against Morocco, with them losing their top player in Hakim's edge, uh, the Black Stars will fair way with the coming of all our top players and the coach having everybody in their right positions. I don't think that we're going to lose that game. We don't do well in our major, I mean, our first games at major tournaments, though, but we should be able to account for Morocco. Our West should be a draw and uh, then win subsequent two games against Comoros and Cabo to be able to progress. I don't expect Ghana to, I mean, uh, falter against Morocco on Monday. Mm, okay. Uh, going, going into Monday uh, for the Moroccan game and with the friendly we, we, we played, uh, what tweaks, what dynamics, uh, what changes would you expect to see before we play Morocco? In, in goalkeeping, we all saw the, the level of errors uh, in the game yesterday. But I thought that Milo already knows his number one. He has so much trust in uh, Jojo Luke Wallacott mm -hmm. to the extent that he had to bench him and try to see who his deputy goalkeeper will be. And between Lawrence and Tiziki and Abdul Manaf, I'm sure that he's really decided who should be the number two of the team. And that is something that uh, really interests me. So I will see Jojo Wolokot in post, and Daniel Amati will pretend to center back definitely because that's where he feels so much comfortable playing. And I expect to, to be paired against uh, Alexander Jiku or Jonathan Mesa. A right back will be Andy Yadam, who came in at the latter stages of the game yesterday. We expect to see Jordan Ayu leading the forwards and Andre Ayu coming into the game. Mm. Uh, so there will be four or five major inclusions on Monday against Morocco. That is where we expect to see the full strength 
of our team. And that is where we can make the right assessment uh, based on what people think the team will fare well at the tournament or not. So there will be five or six major additions in the team on Monday, and this is supposed to change the dynamics of how they played against um, Algeria yesterday. Right. Uh, Sadiq, thank you. Well, grateful for your time with us on Midday Live. We'll be speaking with uh, Sadiq.